everyone. Welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Once you have a good understanding of HTML and CSS, you would next want to learn some CSS frameworks to make your development quicker and easier. One of the most widely used framework is Bootstrap. This quick video is for you if you are still not sure about getting started. You will get an idea of what exactly is Bootstrap. At the time of recording this video, the latest version is Bootstrap 4. I recommend starting with whichever is the latest version while you're watching this. So how exactly does this framework help you? There are some common elements in all websites, right? Like navigation bar, buttons, cards, carousals, responsive grids, and so on. Each time you build a new website, you need to add CSS for all these elements from scratch. Consider this example of three blog post cards with image and some text. To create this, you would normally have a HTML file that looks like this, a container div, three divs inside with image, heading, text, and so on, with custom class names like post, post image, post info, etc. And this would need a long CSS file that looks something like this. Now, what if I tell you that with Bootstrap and a similar HTML file, you don't need to write any of the CSS at all, but still be able to create the exact same look and functionality? Wouldn't that be much quicker to develop? But how? Here is the HTML code that uses Bootstrap to design the same page. Bootstrap has this huge CSS file that you will be including in your HTML. And then you will be using Bootstrap classes like BG Lite, Container, Row, Call MD4, Card, Card Image Top, Font Weight Bold, Button, Button SM, and all of these instead of your custom classes. Bootstrap has classes for layouts like responsive grid layout. It has classes for components like buttons of different colors and cards, carousals like these, beautiful forms, responsive navigation bars, tool tips, and so on. It also has utility classes for borders, colors, and spacing. For example, when you need a little margin to the left, you just need to add this class name ML-1, which means margin left one. If you need more margin, you make it ML-2 and so on up to ML-5. Similarly, if you need medium padding on all sides, just add P-3. This is how it's done in Bootstrap. I know what you're thinking. How can I remember thousands of these class names? You don't have to remember to start with. What you're seeing right here is the Bootstrap documentation where you can search. For example, if you need the class name for light background color, just type background, select background color, and here is the class name you need. What if you don't find the background color you need? Only then you need to add your own custom class along with Bootstrap class, like you can replace BG Light here with BG Custom, BG Gray, or whatever you wish to, and add your custom style sheet here along with your CSS. I think now you have a fair understanding of what exactly Bootstrap is and how it's helpful for you. One last thing you need to know, your very first project with Bootstrap might take longer to design than writing all the CSS yourself. But the second project onwards, it will get so much faster that you'll never look back again. Wishing you good luck. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.